What's up guys and welcome to another video. Let's get ready to wake up and react to another episode of X-Men 97, episode 8. Uh, I skipped the intro um, in the review, but um, last time, so I did watch a few breakdown videos just so it could help me kind of understand what was going on, but so Bass, ugh. Okay, so Bastion is I definitely going to try and use Magneto in his scheme. I don't know if he's, like, going to force him to, like, you know, go full villain to... Okay, so I got backstory on, like, Bastion's character. And usually, spoiler alert if you haven't read the comics, guys. He... He's creating, um, these, like... These, um... What, what do they call them, like? Like, this... Oh, fuck, I forgot. But, like... These sentinels that are kind of like like what you saw with um, Trask. Um, he is kind of like this android, like half human, half sentinel kind of thing. And um, that's what like I think all those things are in there that, they, that you saw where Rogue and uh, dropped Trask. Um, so... I also know one of Bastion's abilities, so... See, I don't want to share too much, but I just feel like things are clicking and I'm understanding more, so I won't say too much in case I, and people didn't read the comics and they want to go in fresh, but that I feel like isn't too much. Like, they're, you obviously know they're half human, half robot, and that's most likely what all those things are, and he's definitely playing chess while everyone else is playing checkers. He's. I feel like he's going to use... Magneto in some way maybe play the villain to get humanity to turn against all mutants. Not my theory, actually. It was one of the breakdown video theories, but I agree with it. So, we'll see if that happens. I won't say anything else. I won't say anything else. So let's jump into it. Because I don't know. You know, they talk about the comics and what happens in the comics, but then again... Not everything that happens in the comments is, is what's going to happen in the show, so just keep that in mind. Tolerance is extinction, part one. Yeah. Okay, so that too. They were talking about how, like, that came out where, like, this is, like, a three-part finale. Like, all the eight, nine, and ten. So, whew, let's see. Oh, my God. Jean's walking in. Ooh, let's see how this goes. Okay. I just feel like these two are better off as, like, really good friends. Like, best friends, maybe. But definitely not lovers anymore. That's over with. Have you two had a chance to speak? Apparently his mutant power includes vanishing from any room I enter. I had a vibe, bro. I'm telling you last week, I was like, he does not fuck with you, Scott. Stubborn. Wonder where I got it. <laughs> any word why Bishop's not with him? Mmm. They were separated in the time stream. Nathan, a cable, landed in the future, alone. I sent Nathan away to give him the best possible future. And it was so horrible, he's come back to stop it. Think of it another way. Your son came back because he needs his father. Uh, I'm doing a bang-up job. Never thought to ask the professor to show me how he did what he did so well. Well, good thing he's coming back. Some lessons are taught, Scott. Others are learned. His name is I'm sorry, what the fuck is this about? So... Your side piece, Madeline, that's kind of what she, well, I guess, your wife is gone, and then you just default back to Jean, and she's, she, like, is letting it happen, like, uh, whatever, if you're both fine with it. In my timeline, he used the fallout from Genosha to get back into his prime sentinel. Part. Prime like sentinel, yeah. Part. The prime sentinels are created using the same techno organic virus that he used on you. Affected me with as a baby. Yeah, right sinister. Sorry. If true, his prime sentinels would be living weapons capable of reproducing, literally giving birth to a new apex species. Oh his my God! Replace mutants like humans did Neanderthals. Wow, I didn't think about that. Our war lasted three hundred years. <sighs> so another dystopia where Logan's the last to die. <laughs> Utopia. Wow. Like old pieces of oh. Life, Bastion saved humanity by upgrading them. Any mutant who survived was put to work. What? Xavier's dream came true. Mutants ushered in a bright and peaceful future as its backbone. Damn. Didn't you stop, Genosha? Take a seat, Logan. Oh, 
I'm sorry, I gotta comment on that. Isn't that sad? I know I just said damn, but like, isn't that sad that Xavier's dream came true? Mutants ushered in a peaceful future, but as its backbone, they were the slaves that built this utopia that they had no place in. It's fucking bullshit. Damn, he put that shit on blast. Asshole. Damn. Oh, it's not looking good. Does it matter if you heard his first cries? If you remember how it felt to hear them? I met Rogue years later. We could have been enemies or strangers. Instead, unlike our mother, we chose not to abandon each other, to let go of the past and simply be family. Yep. Blood is blood. Family is a choice. Yep. Family is a choice. Okay, so what am I supposed to believe? Like, the whole Madeline thing is just done with? Like, she's not coming back, and so... So, we're just supposed to, like, move past that? Like, eh, well, the bitch is gone, so... I can step back in, Scott. I can be your wife, if you want. I can be your son's mother, if you want. That's just so weird. What is there to say? Oh, wow. It's Nazi. Holocaust, whatever, like, tattoo. I'm sorry. For everything. Forgive me. Curse me. Just please talk to me. You must have something to say. Wait. You didn't have any part in this, did you? Too late for Coco. Oh. And apologies. Oh. Looks can be deceiving. Hmm. Oh. Oh. You saw the little sentinel toy? Son said you'd come get me tomorrow. What? You there, the big one. Help an old woman out. The fuck is going on? But please, make yourselves at home while I pack. What? Mmm. I'd be watching that old lady. That's suspicious as fuck. He drew these. Just who is this? And no one's watching the old lady? Guys, oh my God! I see a child who could hear things, not thoughts. Machines. Hmm. Whoa. The school janitor being infected by something from the future. What? Sentinel technology. What the shit? Oh. Creating. Oh my god! He fabricated, he manipulated all of this to make Bastion! Sebastian, that's his name? You are no. Uh, well. Aww. That was the right thing to say. He's descended of every sentinel from Master Mold to Nimrod. Mutated, evolved, born. That's wild! Us about well, I did. You really were working with this motherfucker. Too long, and people start feeling sorry for them. Like when our village idiot Guy Rick made a martyr of Xavier and tolerance, but really guilt. So I hand humanity Genosha, overload their bandwidth. 
too much to compute. Because when your skin's not in the game, <sighs> apathy's your answer. Wow. No way! <laughs> wow! This motherfucker's even involved. Oh, I don't know if these X-Men stand a goddamn chance. I'll be honest. I don't know about much about Doctor Doom, but I watch a lot of breakdown videos and they're always hyping this guy up. Always hyping this. They're all his hype man. Like, like this guy is just on another level right here okay here's this another level he's above that another level like th i can't even okay describe to you how much they hype this guy up okay do not mistake doom's collusion as indifference to flagrant war crimes okay damn girl why were you involved with this though like why you do you believe in his mission a utopia even if it's built on the back. But she's like, I didn't know about this. I'm sorry, bitch. I don't know. Were you willfully... Blah, 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 blah. Were you willfully ignorant? Probably not. This guy is smart as shit. He probably just kept it from you. But why did you get involved in the first place? What did he sell to you? What idea? This utopia? But he didn't tell you how he planned to get there. Who the fuck is that? Who the fuck is that? I'm probably supposed to know. I have no idea. The litter of the lore aside, Genosha's not genocide. It's time management. In a hundred years, mutants outnumber humans ten to one. And generations later, human extinction. It's like the scary ozone stuff in the news. Act today to save tomorrow. Enter. Operation Zero, Zero Tolerance, OZT. Trask, Sentinels, well, they're too blunt. What the hell is that? We spot them a mile away. We need something deadly, but discreet. Humanity is scared. Of course they are. They've been told over and over that the future is leaving them behind. But I invite them to be relevant again. Do these people even know what you're doing to them? Well, I admit the more technical details, but uh, of course. They know they're joining something far greater than themselves. After this, they wake up in their daily lives with no memory of ever being here. Then, mm. who knows, maybe a mutant flirts with one of them at a local dive bar and... You said you were building a new sentinel, not weaponizing civilians. You sound like a dinosaur. And you were fine with him building more sentinels? I'm more concerned you're the asteroid, Bastion. This bitch, bro. Oh. Uh-uh. They didn't have that chance. Uh. <gasps> and I told you to watch the old lady. Here she goes. She's turning. A prime sentinel. Oh, 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 even him? Why is him in on that cup? First of all, I was weird. Is she gonna be one too? Beast, turn the fuck around. Beast, Hank, Hank. Oh my God, Hank. Oh, my stars and garters! I knew it. I fucking knew it. Beat that bitch's ass. Hank! Wow. You fucking bitch. You lying ass. Oh, fuck, I feel bad for him. She toyed with him, preyed on his emotions so she could g get inside, bro. I gotta talk to Hank about his taste in women. Yeah, honestly. Yeah. Damn it. He planned this well, I will say. 
Dude, these things are OP. I mean, they're probably fast, too. I mean, they're probably going to be able to keep up. Oh, Juggernaut. Where did he come from? Oh, uh, Kurt. Oh. Dude, he changed so many people. <laughs> I know, right? Like the first episode, she got attacked in a mall. Wow, he used his powers in front of people. Let's go. Xavier, I don't even know how you would fix this, dude. I, I really don't. Because I don't think... Ooh, the growl. Oh. I don't think that's going to work, dude. Ooh. Find another one to land on. Oh, nice, nice, Logan. Yup, yup, yup. Can they heal, though? Like, can they regenerate? <gasps> Look at them all looking at Rogue. Oh, my God. <laughs> Let's go. Oh, Kurt. Woo, baby. Go off, Kurt. Ooh. Ooh, the stance. I love it. Look at him protecting his family. No way. They can put their heads back. They can regenerate. I knew this was... Fuck me. You're gonna fight forever. It's never gonna stop. You guys are gonna tire yourselves out until they kill you. We must get them away from Rogue. How? Will they follow you if you leave? Teleport them out of there. Nice, Kurt. Nice, Kurt. I forgot about that. Ooh, I got scared that he was going to stab him on accident. Fuck this, bro. They're all dead. They are so fucking dead. Mm, you tried it. Ooh, Roberto. <laughs> nice. Oh. oh my god, what the fuck was that? Dude, dude, like slamming their head into it. This is insane. I, I like they're not stopping them. I don't know what they're gonna do. I think you need to go back into the past, like before he ever created them. Look, they just took out an engine. Not doing this again. Fuck. Nathan, get in the back. Quit bossing me around. Gonna kill you. This is the third Blackbird in this many <laughs> Stop pushing me around. There you go acting like a kid. Yeah, he's getting a taste of what it's like to be parents. Uh, to have parents. Sorry. Oh, shit! Nice. That's cool. I didn't know there was a car in the back of that thing. Ooh. You have a Porsche. <laughs> That smile, Scott. Oh my god, look, they're taking down the tunnel. The cave. Time stop me anything when you can't go back. Wow forward. Okay. Okay. Let's show these toasters why you don't screw with the summers. <laughs> Alright, here we go. Nice, 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 nice! Teamwork! Always makes the dream work. Let's go, Gene! Woo! Let's go, baby! Oh, shit. Was that okay? Yeah, well, we crashed the gala. Mom, Charity, whatever. We do not kill mutants. We save them. The fuck you do? Ooh, bad for business? How are you gonna respond to this? What? 
You're terrible. You're a terrible mother for that. You really put your business before your son? Ah, uh, okay. And here he is. Everything went according to plan, huh? Burn them to the ground. Human wrecks let Magneto out. She lost her mind. Of course she did. I don't think she lost her mind. I think she fucking found it again. I can't believe she was going along with this shit in the first place. You know, in Genosha, I felt a lot of things. Pain, grief, admiration for those who fought despite the odds. But you know what the oddest thing was? No one seemed shocked or surprised. Yup. Isn't that fucking sad? Really, I just had the most profound sense of deja vu. As if past, present, and future didn't matter, and you never had. Because we always end up in, in the, the same, same ugly place. <laughs> Magneto knows us better than Charles ever did. Yep. He knows we know better. That most of us experience tragedies like Genosha as a bit of deja vu before getting on. Getting on with your day. That's a p yes. You glo. Uh, whatever. Mm, not my problem. Uh, well, it is what it is. Until you're the one that's affected by it, right? Man, my boy's about to pop the fuck off. And I'm sorry, but I can't wait to see it happen. Like, oh, this is, this is just so complicated. I know because there are good humans. There are, but there are so many pieces of shit that, like she said, you just let this keep happening. The Holocaust. I mean, every war, every single war. It's fuck ah, and it just keeps happening. But the scariest thing about Genosha wasn't the death or the chaos. It was a thought. The only sane thought you can have when being chased by giant robots that were built to crush you. Magneto was right. Wow. Go off. Go off, sir. King. Magneto was right. Oh! Shit! Oh my god! Peter! God damn! Oh, he's- because of his- his magnetism, he's like- Okay, depowering all of them. He shut that shit down. Damn. And now, what is he gonna do? Oh, that's what he meant. Who was that? I hope that I'm not too late. <laughs> Charles. To me, my X-Men. Damn. Look at Hank. Oh. It's over? Fuck you! Oh! Oh, man. There's no after credit scene, is there? Yo, I can't wait to watch the, the next two, dude. Oh my god. The only sane thought you can have after something like this. Magneto was right. Will never be accepted. Never. And you know what? The other thing, um, I don't know, I, what's the other thing? I'm all over the place, but Bastion's saying, well, you know, calling, her calling him out for being a monster, he's like, eh, I was born this way. No, you weren't. You were not born that way. You were a good kid. Mom, I want to be normal. You are normal. You're my son. Like, you were surrounded by love. You became what you were because of the things that happened around you. You were shaped by your environment. That, you can be different. You can choose to be different, but, like, go about things differently is what I'm trying to say. But you chose this. This is the path you chose. A utopia built on the backs of mutants, on their blood. I just... Fuck, bro. Um, the whole Scott, Cable, Gene thing, they've worked it out, I guess. I don't know. 
whatever. That was kind of cute, though. Stop ordering me around. He acted like such a petulant child. That was so cute. That was cute because he's never had parents. It's just like they're finally like, yeah, your son's probably like in his 40s, but or however the fuck old he is. He's got silver hair. Maybe he's in his 50s. I don't know. But he's acting like a kid with his parents. It's just cute. I mean, she's just as much his mom as Madeline is, I think. Yeah, he may have come out of her, but, like, you're... Genetically, your DNA is the fucking same, so... Good enough, I guess. You know, you can be... It's just the same thing with, like, adoption. That doesn't make your parents any less your parents, you know what I mean? Um, anyway. So... What else? I don't know why she got involved with Bastion in the first place. That drives me up a wall. I can't wait to watch a breakdown of this. Um... What else? What else? What else? That damn lady. That lady. That, that, that reporter pisses me off. Like, can Hank just please, can he just find love? This lady really was playing him the whole time. Poor Hank, dude. Mmm. Magneto, man. He really tried. He really tried to give humanity a second chance. A real chance. And it's just... They disappoint you time and time again. Not to say there aren't some good ones out there, but... The actions of these... These bad ones. The evil. Just terrible, awful people. It just seems like it outweighs all the good. Or the, the decent... People who are open-minded and accepting. I mean... Look at what Roberto's mom did. I mean, she fucking chose her business over her son. You handed him over. Oh, we don't kill mutants. They were firing him, f firing these like blasts of energy at him. What do you mean they weren't trying to kill him? We helped them. How is that helping me? Don't even try and play it off like you're trying to just detain me. Fuck you. His mom's a piece of shit for that. Uh, what else? Spider-Man, that was cool. I want to know who that samurai was and the guy with the Omega symbol. And he had, like, the something in his um, veins, in his arms. And then fucking Sinister just wanting his little pig pen of um, mutants to experiment on. His obsession with that <clears throat> evolution. Of creating the super, the, you know, a super mutant or some shit. Did we talk about everything? Him and his prime sentinels. And I don't know what Charles is going to do. What are you going to do, Charles? Good luck. I don't know how you're solving this problem. But anyway, uh, if I missed anything or miss... I can't talk today. If I misunderstood something, if I missed something, let me know. Uh, if you caught something, I didn't. Um, and where do you guys think this is going? Anyway. As always, remember to like, share, and subscribe, and hit that notification bell to be notified every time I upload a video. And if you guys want full reactions, you can catch that on my Patreon. The link for that's in the description below, so please check that out and sign up to support the channel. And yeah, I'm going to get out of here, guys, and I'll catch you in the next reaction.